Hamza, 3-1 victory over Bradford Park Avenue today at the Windsor Food Service Stadium. Uh, the lads really had to work for that one, didn't they, today? Yeah, it was a graft. <laughs> Obviously going down to 10 men. And um, to be fair to Bradford, they were, they were a good side, they moved the ball well. Uh, I think um, after the height of the, of the cup, um, it's always difficult to come back and, and, and get on with, with the league. I thought we started pretty well, but the tempo was a bit false. Um, considered against the runner play, so that hit certain head. Um, and obviously the red card played a big part, but we needed that to wake up and we scored, I think, from the following free kick. So, big graft, it just shows the mentality of the team. Um, stood strong, uh, stayed strong, scored the goals that we needed and, and got the three points. Obviously, you said that you know we didn't start too bad, but it didn't really feel like a, a works up town performance from the off. What do you think contributed to that? No, not at all. Uh, it felt really flat. I don't think the tempo is what we are used to to do and, and play. Um, there's nothing really to explain. It's just the mentality that, that we need to have, that we usually have, but it's not a given. Uh, and obviously, coming back in the league, um, looking obviously at the difference that happened lately and, and all the joy, uh, I think uh, we probably let ourselves down uh, and we all know that. So um, the reaction is something that we could be proud of. We know we've got that, and uh, but it's not easy. Not every team has it and that's why I want to keep us a positive today. And that, that reaction came pretty much straight away, obviously, Tez getting sent off in the circumstances that he did, but we sort of put that behind and went, it, we equalled, uh, equalised at, at the right moment. Do you think that was a, a big goal going into the second half as opposed to you know, going behind, coming into that second period? Yes, it's a, it's a huge goal because once they took the lead and, and they got again a bit of momentum, um, I do think sometimes you need a, a kick to get yourself going. Uh, I know obviously Tez is really disappointed with the manner um, and obviously he's, 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 he knows he's let the team down but we, we stand for each other and uh, that probably was the turn of the game. I think that when we then went down to 10 man and we scored straight from the free kick um, even though they had a lot of the ball we felt pretty strong and confident so it is huge and sometimes that's what changes the balance of a game. What was the uh, the approach to the second half? Obviously, you want to go and get them goals like we did, but you can be wary with how they got in behind like they did in the first half. Yes, that's that's that's, that's it. You've got a, a game manager, and uh, we have got the experience. We have got the mentality for it, and um, it is just to find a way. That that's 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 our mentality. We no matter how we turn up, uh, if it's a good day or a bad one, we dig deep and uh, we have the mentality to find a way to win football games and we've done it again today uh, we can't count on that all the time uh, but it is part of our strength and uh, today that's what made a difference and I can't be more proud of, of, of all the team and the players Obviously we spend quite a while waxing lyrical about the, the forward play but today particularly from a defensive point of view in that second period how much did yourself George Sam even Jay that had to, to revert to right back have to, to put in to get that victory today? Uh, yeah, well, credit to the staff. Uh, they made a bit of a tactical change at half time. Uh, and I know as a defender, <laughs> I shouldn't be saying that, but I enjoy it. I enjoy it because it shows the discipline we have. I think uh, the back three, meet after and, and George with Wedge in front, we've organised the people around quite well. They moved the ball well, but it's something that I take pride in defending well, showing the discipline. We had that and uh, we even managed to score goals playing that way. It's not identity, that's not what we, we, we go for when we play football games, but it shows that we can do both sides and uh, we're a team that can do it all. So football sometimes is defending and that's what we did today. Obviously that back line has got a lot of experience in there, but having Wedge just in front, how much does that ease sort of the, in terms of defensive organisation as well, how much does that ease the pressure on yourselves? Massively, uh, it's, it's, it's communication and uh, Wedge is vocal, I'm vocal, Tafti is, Josh is. So we just pass the message on to the players and Wedge can relay that um, and that, that made a huge change and uh, you, you can see it. Obviously, the, they had loads of bodies running forwards, moving about and we've, we've done really well and that's all down to communication and, and Wedge is massive for us uh, when he does that. Obviously, it's been a magical last few weeks um, for the club, in particular last Saturday. Um, how does it? How good does it feel to, to get back into the league and, and mark it with three points today? 
it's really good because I always the, the cup runs in the past it's amazing but you can take your eye off the ball and uh, and, and the bread and butter that is the, the league and um, to come down to come back to the league it's never easy uh, sometimes you fall a few games in behind and you've got to catch up uh, longer away trips on Tuesday so getting back into the three points uh, we've got another one on Tuesday so we've got to regroup quickly and the game's going to come um, thick and fast and uh, yes fitness recover do the job again on Tuesday. Having a, a week off like we did, uh, obviously the lads were in training, obviously, but uh, having the week off without a game, did it feel a lot better after sort of a hectic couple of weeks? It does, yes. The the group is looking healthy. We're getting more and more bodies back. Uh, you can look at the bench, it's really strong. Um, so it, it does do good uh, and we're going to need it. Every single player will be needed and they all know that they're playing a part uh, from from first to 18, 22 players. Uh, everybody's going to take a part. So they're all um, really involved and invested and, and that's, again, our strength. We know that what we've got. And uh, through the next few weeks, we're going to have a lot of big games um, so we just have to prepare and everybody uh, will play a part. Uh, Macclesfield on Tuesday night, what are your thoughts going into that uh, game? Yeah, it's going to be familiar ground. Um, it's a place that me and a few players here shared, um, but it's going to be a difficult one. Uh, they're, they're a strong team, they are ambitious, similar to us, so it'll be a good game of football. We're going there obviously for the three points, um, but prepare for that one like we prepared for every single other game and uh, we'll see that what brings. What will it be like going there? Obviously they're newly formed after what happened, they've been on that downward spiral but now they're on the way back up, uh, a ground that's going to have a lot of games. Obviously we've been talking about how uh, good it was last week having Sandy Lane full, it'll be probably the same again on Tuesday at their place. Um, how good will it be to go, to go back there right, obviously for personal reasons? Uh, it'd be really good. Uh, it's, a, it's a place that I cherish. Um, I, I've had a great time there. Uh, probably that set up my career. But uh, they have a buzz around it. They have a good set of fans. Uh, it's a good place to go to. The atmosphere will be good. And we're pretty similar. We've got great away fans and um, we've got ambition as well. So again, it's going to be a, a good Tuesday night football game and uh, may the best team win, even though we're, we're going to go for the win. <laughs> Uh, and finally, whilst we've got you here, uh, Stockport County in the first round proper of the FA uh, Cup. How does it feel to, to draw them? But also, I'm pretty sure you'll be you know, sort of wiping your brow after your red card got wavered as well. Yes, I'm quite happy because I've been stressing about that. Uh, in the game, I thought it was a bit, it wasn't really a red card, and I was a bit uh, confused about the reasons. But uh, thankfully enough, which is really rare. Uh, the referee has, has corrected it, uh, which is credit to you because I've, through all my career I've never seen that, uh, but fair play to him. And uh, Stockport will come in two weeks, uh, we'll focus on them when we get there. It's a place that I've been a lot of time, it's, a, it's an old football stadium, um, it's going to be difficult, but we're going to go there and, and prepare right and then just give it all.